This podcast is part of the Planet Broadcasting Network. Visit planetbroadcasting.com for more podcasts from our great mates. Another episode of Do Go On. My name is Dave Warnicky and I'm here with Jess Perkins and Matt Stewart. And it is hot in here. It's getting hot in here. So hot. So Honestly, keep your clothes on, I Dave, gonna, you little perv. I was going to ask for a shirts off sesh, but okay, no worries. With the drawn. I was going to ask for a shirts on sesh for once, Dave. Yeah. Right. Get your little pecs out of my face. Put a top on. Nothing your little li- perv. Nothing little about these pecs. Your little pecs, your little pecker. Mate, I've been on the pec deck all day. It always makes me laugh, the idea of a gym equipment being called the peck deck. That is good fun. I love rhyming. And uh, never used it at the gym. Too scared. But anyway, uh, how are we? (laughs) Also scared. Always. Always terrified. Always on edge. Always alert. Always be alert. Always be alarmed. Like the old ads used to say. I am. Both of those things at all times. Yes. Uh, My heart rate (laughs) is through the roof. Doctors are concerned for me. Right on. I was wondering who that man was. Yeah, it's my doctor. Doctor, please keep it down. We're doing he a podcast. He comes here. with me everywhere. Dave, you're such a soy boy. Why does the doctor have to be a man? Your imagination <laughs> can't even. Wait, no, now I'm being a soy boy. All right. <laughs> hey, I was being the opposite of a soy boy. I was being a full cream milk boy. Gross. Dairy Dave, that's what we call him. Yeah, Dairy Dave. And I'm Juicy Jess. <laughs> and Matt, soy boy. <laughs> Soy man to you. <laughs> oh, boy. We've derailed early. It is hot. It is super hot. We're so going to get into the episode real quick, but first of all, we've got to tell you that last week we put on sale our first ever live podcast in Adelaide on March the 10th. We are going to be at the National Wine Centre in the afternoon there. People have already started buying tickets. Thank you so much. Thank yeah. you so much. The rumours were not true. Adelaide does buy tickets. We're going to have a few cheeky wines while we're there at the Wine Centre. Mm. All right. Cheeky one. Oh, cheeky one. That's a yes from me. Oh. Maybe a rosé, a... maybe a pinoir, maybe a Shiraz. A Merlot. Oh, a Merlot. Oh, uh, the voice Merle, of Alistair. No. The voice of Alistair Trumley Birchall. Beautiful. Love it. That's doable. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're also doing four shows at the Melbourne Comedy Festival that start the month, uh, the end of that month at the European Beer Cafe on Saturday afternoons. Tickets flying out the door for that one. So thanks, everyone, for getting on board. There's a lot of people saying they're already coming to Melbourne, you know, for the weekend, for the week, going to see a bunch of shows, and we're on that list, so we appreciate that. Thanks. So yeah, that's cool. awesome. And uh, when we're in the UK, people would travel city to city to see. So I would hope that people are going to go to Adelaide and Melbourne and any future dates we announce. Yeah. Or, I mean. <laughs> go to all of them or go to none of them. That's what we always say. Now, nah, come to any of them that you want to. Good on you all. And I'm also doing shows, uh, a show in particular called Bone Dry, which Dave is directing for me. He's making it better <laughs> minute My direct, by minute. directorial debut. Yeah, it is big. It's and like, I am your hype man. Yeah. Slash cinematographer. Hypatorial debut. Uh, the show's called Bone Dry and it is on in Perth, Adelaide. Same uh, venue as our Adelaide venue at the Wine Centre. Also in Brisbane at the Powerhouse and Melbourne at the Chinese Museum. Um, it's a it's a real cultural tour, mm. and you can find out more details about that on mattstewartcomedy dot com slash gigs. Buy tickets now for both shows. Do the it, pods and the stand up. That'd be so cool, Buy fantastic. Him. Now on to the show this week, and it is Matt's turn to report on a topic usually suggested by a listener. Jess and I don't know what he's about to report on. We've got no idea, but we're very interested here, and we always start with a question for Matt to get us onto that topic. And uh, the question this week is, oh, so I put it up to a vote for the Patreons. Mm-hmm. Fantastic. And the options I gave them were four different cryptids. Ooh, fun. So we've done a few cryptids in the past. We've done Bigfoot. We've Mothman. Done Mothman. We've Loch Ness done... Monster. That's right. Is that all of them? So this might be our fourth cryptid. Yeah. Uh, the question is, what cryptid celebrated the 30th birthday of its most famous sighting in 2018, just last year. Mm. 80s sighting. Mm. Good quick math there, Dave. Love that. I'm trying to think. What was big in the 80s? Okay. Shoulder pads. Shoulder pad. Jim. Shoulder pad Jim. Was it shoulder pad Jim? (laughs) Or was it big hair Mike? Was it perm head Mike? (laughs) 
Was it George Michael? Oh, was wham, it? Was it Wham Bam? Thank you, Jan. Was it Acid Wash Denim Chris? Um. <laughs> oh, <laughs> was it the Tie Dye Monster? Was that nineties? Oh. Damn it! Was it the Do They Know It's Christmas Time at All Monster? No, no, I don't. Maybe. Are we close? No. Hmm. Uh, it is the Something Man of Somewhere Something Swamp. Does that help? <laughs> swamp Boy, Swamp Thing. The it's an animal. The, the Something badger. Man of Scape Alligator or Swamp. So close. Crocodile Croc- Man. Think smaller. Ooh, oh, small. Sea Piranha horse. Man. It's the Lizard Man <laughs> of Scape or Swamp. I mean, we were close. Of which swamp? Scape or. Lizard Man. I don't know. Maybe that's a question. Scape or Swamp. It's from one of the two. <laughs> No, it's Scape or Swamp, which is in South Carolina in America. Cool. Oh, fantastic. I don't know many many facts about the Carolinas, north or south. No. Did you come across any fun facts, Matt? Uh, yeah, there was a few fun facts around. Um, let me just go through my random fact generator in my head. Okay. Um, all right, just picking one at random. Jeez, you know so many. Uh, neighboring state, North Carolina actually had a university there. Neighboring to which direction? Uh, to the north ah. of South Carolina. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Wouldn't put a pass them to bloody oh, to the east or what something. What are they like? But anyway, uh, and uh, one of their famous alum was a man named Michael Jordan. Now, he uh, was quite a good basketballer uh-huh. in his time. Uh, he's not anymore because he's, I think he's dead. That's not true. <laughs> <laughs> That's not Jesus. true. He's still alive and well. He's still doing real good. At, at the time of recording. At the time of recording. Oh, my God, please. <laughs> Uh, so he he continued to wear his college shorts, they were blue, right through his professional career as a Chicago Bull. So he was wearing a red uniform with light blue pants underneath. Oh, that wow. is wild. That Two is... pairs of shorts, you'd be hot. Hey, I'm wearing one pair of shorts right now and I'm dying. Oh God, it is hot. He was, he was hot. He was hot <laughs> on and off the court. The biggest thing in the 90s. Wow. But the biggest thing in the 80s was the lizard man of scape or swamp. Now you can understand why Dave and I didn't immediately jump to this. We weren't alive in the eighties. No, not in eighty-eight. It's most famous sighting. You were not around. No, but we were. But a twinkle in our father's eyes. I was going to say, not the same dad, not the same <laughs> twinkle, please. This topic was suggested by James Knight, and he wrote, "Come on, it's a freaking lizard man." <laughs> Very well, compelling argument. Well sold, James. Yeah, thanks, James. Now on with the report on June the twenty <laughs> on June the twenty ninth, nineteen eighty eight, in Lee County, South Carolina, a seventeen year old named Christopher Davis was driving home from a night shift at McDonald's when one of the tires on his nineteen seventy six Toyota Celica blew. He blew a tire. He blew a tire. <gasps> Spooky. Davis pulled over on Browntown Road. He's going down to, down to Browntown, uh, approximately a mile past Scape Ore Bridge. He changed his tyre over and was packing his tool back into the boot of his car. Packing his tool back in? Yes. Yep, continue. I like that he's handy enough to do it himself. I would be calling my father. <laughs> Your daddy. The one time I blown a tyre, I, uh, I kept driving. For about 20 minutes, not realising it had blown. And I was on the freeway with my foot flat to the floor, wondering why the car was pulling to the left and only getting to about 60 kilometres an hour when I should be doing 100 in the freeway. And then sparks started flying up from the front of the car. And I was like, geez, what's that? Pull over and I'm like. Still driving. Oh, well, I guess I'll check at home. No, don't worry. I'm I'm only 25 minutes from home. (laughs) Pull over on the side of the freeway. The tyre has absolutely exploded. It's steaming like it's like it's going crazy because from from the heat I've shredded through the tire and I'm down to the rim, and for some reason I decided to reach out and try and touch the tire, <laughs> which inside a tire I didn't know was a lot of steel wire, which is now st- and it just cut my hand open. <gasps> and I'm how like, how old were you at this point? Oh, about nineteen. Just got my license, so I'm like, that's it. Get back in the car and I'm calling dad. <laughs> so uh, Davis pulled over and he changed his tire over, packing his tools back into his car when he saw something moving from the tree line. Then that thing that he saw came (laughs) right for him. Whoa. This is how Davis described what happened next. I ran into the car and as I locked it, the thing grabbed the door handle. I could see him from the neck down, the three big fingers, long black nails and green rough skin. It was strong and angry. I looked in my mirror and saw a blur of green running. I could see his toes. 
and then he jumped on the roof of my car. I thought I heard a grunt, and then I could see his fingers through the front windshield, where they curled around on the roof. I sped up and swerved to shake the creature off. Wow, so it's run up, he's jumped in the car. Yeah. Locked the door, and then it's jumped on the roof, and he's sped away. <laughs> Swerved fishtailing to get it off the off the roof. Oh my God, he changed that tire. Yeah. Oh, man. Imagine trying to get away with a... Imagine trying to drive with a tire that's not working. I could have no idea how that would feel. <laughs> Sparks flying everywhere. <laughs> oh, it's so dangerous. It's a pretty wild story, but there's no sort of room for doubt. You know, in the Mothman one, it was a lot of stuff like, oh, it looked like it was something following. That yep. sort of. This is like, he's either, you know, he's probably telling the truth or he's made this up or he was doing some drugs oh true yes that, option uh, that's a, that's option three that's just good but i know what you're saying you he it's not like oh kind of so he's like i saw it yeah this is exactly what it i did. saw a yeah. three fingered uh hand grip through yeah. the roof I saw the windshield and, toes yeah that's so, specific yeah that's weird and it's like that can't be a i man can see a matt's suit. toes oh, right no. now oh, no. no it's a myth no, oh, I can see Dave's toes. But no it's one very hot can in here. We've got toes. nude feet. Are the so yeah, that's like the if it was a guy in a suit, he then like pranking him, that's not possible, right? There's no human that can just rip through a car like yeah, that. Yeah, because at first I thought, well, this this could be a prank. Yeah. But you're right. So when he, did he go through the wind windscreen? Sounds like the it? the fingers went through the front windshield and then curled up onto the roof inside the car. I think right, so they've like cut through the glass. Yeah. So yeah, like like someone in a Halloween costume is not doing that. That yeah, that's right. Um, despite the traumatic nature of the incident, apparently Davis didn't go straight to the cops. It wasn't until he heard that the local sheriff's office was investigating a similarly damaged car uh, that he came forward with his story. You'd probably be like, no one's going to believe this anyway. Yeah. It would be hard to speak up about it. That's right. Unless you're full of shit. Then it would still be pretty hard. Nah, it'd be piss easy. Because you can, yeah, it's like, do you remember? Yeah, sure. Absolutely, I do. I can make, I mean, hit me with a question. Tell you anything. Yeah. I know his name, stated birth. Yeah. Et cetera. Uh, in 2013, writer Lyle Blackburn published a book called Lizard Man, the true story of the Bishopville monster, in which he details the story of the creature. He describes the incident that inspired Davis to come forward, saying, so this is the other car, damaged car. This is, is how Lyle Blackburn described it in his book. A family by the name of Way reported that their 1985 Ford LTD had been mauled during the night while they slept. The vehicle, which had been parked under an open metal carport, had suffered extensive damage to the moulding, sidewalls and hood. It would have seemed like the work of a vandal, but hair and footprints found on the car led them to believe some kind of animal might have been responsible. Oh, vandals don't have feet or hair. <laughs> it's a bit, yeah, come on. Come on. Yeah, um, um, uh, it's sorry, 1988. Ways, your prejudice is showing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're the only people in the world with feet. Yeah. Grow up. Fucking are you unbelievable. Unbelievable. I mean, vandals also have pets. Hmm? They're allowed to own pets. Yeah. Well, thanks, <laughs> thanks to the. Unfortunately, yeah. Thanks to the. Fun. I didn't vote for that one. Yeah. Um, he goes on. Uh, Blackburn uh, poses the question. They thought it was some sort of animal, but what kind of animal would sink its claws and teeth into a metal skin of a car? What kind of writer refers to the outside of a car as skin? <laughs> Um, this changes everything. According to the Charleston City Paper, which I will reference a little bit, which is a Charleston's one of the big cities in Carolina, this is what they said. The hair fibers were determined to have come from a red fox, and a biologist said the footprints on the car could have come from a black bear, a not uncommon sight in the nearby swamp. So was it some sort of a bear and fox gang-related attack? <laughs> That's a question I've asked. I didn't see anyone else oh, right. asking that. I thought that that was the author. That was another question he was posing. It feels like maybe it's like an unlikely animal friendship gone yeah, I awry. Love that. Oh. They're, they're, they're catching up for a bit of a, a date or whatever. And then, you know, either maybe together, then maybe they both get off on it, wrecking cars. Wow. So you're imagining like a, a Lady in the Tramp scenario where they've got the spaghetti. Only they've got a car. They're sucking on a they're car. Sucking from the car. And then One's working on the exhaust pipe. <laughs> The other on the bonnet somewhere, meeting in the middle. The fox, obviously, I don't think he could take a lot of it in, but the big bear, who knows? <laughs> this is 
Basically, case closed. Yeah, yeah. sorted. I might send an email. <laughs> to whom? Um, probably the lizard man. Yeah, lizardman at gmail dot com. Yeah, cool. Or lizardman at lizardman dot com. Yeah. So this story from Davis, along with all these, uh, this car and a few other cars that got trashed around that time, sent the town and the surrounding area into some sort of lizard man fever. Media outlets from around the world ran with the story, making Davis some sort of an international celebrity. He further described the creature as green, wet-like, about seven feet tall, and with three fingers and glowing red eyes. Oh, I thought he only saw three quarters of it before. Yeah, now he's he's seen the eyes. Now he's seen the full quarter. Yep. Uh, The (laughs) full four quarters. He's seen the top quarter. Uh, uh, Initially, I uh, forgot about the top quarter, but now I can see it. And also, it was very wet-like, whatever that means. Maybe it had just been from that swamp over there. <laughs> the media coverage led to a bunch of attention in the local area. Businesses cashed in, obviously, selling Lizard Man t-shirts. <laughs> and the local Chamber of Commerce backed all the publicity as good for the community. Beth Hirschberger from the Lee County Chamber of Commerce. The legend of Lizard Man is Lee County. We just need to embrace it. Every town should have an icon, and we just happen to be fortunate enough that ours happens to be a lizard man. <laughs> Some t- towns have Michael Jordan. <laughs> we have a lizard man. Allegedly. Mm. And how many uh, three pieces that lizard man done? None. So far. <laughs> I really, this interview, I really enjoyed a lot. Uh, ours just happens to be a lizard man. <laughs> He chose us as opposed to us having to go out and find an an icon for Lee County. I think he likes us. Maybe he doesn't. She turned very quickly there, (laughs) mid-sentence. I think he likes us. Maybe he doesn't. He doesn't like cars, obviously, but we'll take him for what he's worth. I love those interview sentences that are jumping around. Was she interviewing herself? (laughs) Ah, now, good question. (laughs) What am I doing here? Well, let's find out. I think that's just classic. This is just a home video she's made. I just blagging your way through an interview. You're like, what? I'm in the Chamber of Commerce. I am not expecting to have for a TV crew to come around and interview me about a lizard man. (laughs) But this was not in the job description. Yeah. Lizard man's great. I reckon he loves us. Or he doesn't. And (laughs) And he also might not be great. So take your pick. I haven't offended anyone. We'll take him for what he's worth. Do you guys have any questions about what I actually do? (laughs) (laughs) You know, I did go to law school for seven years. All right, more questions about Lizard Man. Okay. Okay, what do you got? Yep, glowing red eyes. That's what we believe. Yep, or not. Yeah, or not, or blue, whatever. Who cares? I'm a lawyer. Probably has eyes. According to the Charlestown Town paper, Charleston Town paper, a Lizard Man information centre was set up inside a restaurant in nearby Bishopville. There you could meet the 17-year-old Davis to ask him questions and get his autograph. What There's the cr- fuck? Christopher Davis, the boy who yeah. uh, formerly worked at McDonald's. So this is a... Bit of a step up, some would say. Yeah. You're now a local c- celeb. Disagree. I think having a steady income is better than being famous for 15 minutes, you know? Mm. I, think right. he, I think he should never have said anything. He should have just worked his way up management at McDonald's. That's right. Head down, back on the Whoppers. Yep. Or the grill. The Whoppers. Whoppers, mate. That's Come Hungry Jacks. Well, Dave. Clearly he's not a company man. <laughs> Big Macs. Yes, back on the Big Macs. There we go. And the Whoppers. Oh, my God, Dave, honestly, I will take you out the back and shoot you. <laughs> She'll do it, Dave. <laughs> I'm, Jess is not fucking around today. I'm not melting. I don't, I'm what a world. dangerously hot. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. Is that like Let's your, that on your a t-shirt. debut <laughs> album, Dangerously Hot? I'm a little bit worried that my body is at a temperature which is not safe to be at, but please do go on. Yeah, I'm a little worried that my body is too hot. Shut up, Dave. I've had that fear for many years now. Honestly, Matt, please go on to What's shut up. your up. little pecs? No, come on, I'm straight off the deck. <laughs> uh, the paper goes on to say that the county started hosting a lizard man 5K race. <laughs> We're just hoping that he'd see it and enter. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there he is. Got to outrun the lizard man. <laughs> They're already chasing him. Hey, they, they all get a handicap. They have to start. They get like a, a one-minute head start and then he can start running. <laughs> and if they, he catches you, then you lose your life. Your life. And more likely parts of your car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, he tags you, then says, which one's your car? And then you have to show him and then he'll rip your car apart. <laughs> 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 You'll remain unscathed, but 
your car is fucked. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, uh, the paper goes on to say, so the 5K race, also at least three songs were written about the Lizard Man. At least. At least. Oh, wow. One was called Lizard Man, I Think You're My Father. <laughs> the other was, <laughs> Hey There Lizard Boy. Another one was called Green Day. <laughs> In honour of the lizard man? Yeah. Do we actually have any titles for what they are? No, certainly we just not. Have at I le- just told you. <laughs> at least three. But if they were to write a fourth, Jess, of course, it would definitely be called... <laughs> Swampy Man. <laughs> Sla- in brackets, the lizard. That's nice. Close bracket. I'm hot. Uh, and some locals have called for a statue to be erected of the creature. Oh. Some have. Some some haven't. People want it or they don't. That's the quote from Beth. It's a bit like um, <laughs> when they honour an outlaw, like a Ned Kelly yeah. statue. This lizard man has clearly attacked one of your 17-year-olds and ruined two-plus cars. One of your 17-year-old cars. That's right. <laughs> it nearly destroyed a Toyota Celica. Beautiful car. Beautiful automobile. Wow. What an engine. <laughs> uh, some people have... Loved the idea of the lizard man so much that they broke the law to keep the dream alive. Now, uh, this is again from the CTP, which is what I've broken Charleston Town paper down to. Pretty cool. <laughs> CTP. That Love is that. cool. Do you think that's cool? That's so cool. That's pretty cool. Mad. Yes, yes, yes. Tell me. So cool. Thank you. Uh, this is from the CTP. <laughs> In August 1988, Kenneth Orr, an airman stationed at Shaw Air Force Base near Bishopville, Told Lee County Sheriff Liston Truesdale. This is all sound like gibberish so far. Truesdale. Truesdale. Mm, you trust good. that guy? Sounds true. Sheriff Liston Truesdale. Kenneth Orman, the airman. <laughs> Kenneth or the airman told Sheriff Liston Truesdale. <laughs> Hang on, was it Kenneth or the airman? Kenneth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so confused of what you're saying. <laughs> the airman, Kenneth. Airman. Okay. Airman. I'm, he- I'm hearing Kenneth. Kenneth? Kenneth, Kenneth or. The airman. No, I'm hearing like Kenneth or the airman. And I was like, oh, that's an interesting name. Or, or the airman, sure. <laughs> that's his name. So he's telling the sheriff uh, that he had crossed paths with the lizard man while driving to the base at 6 a.m. Why was he driving if he's an airman? Mm. <laughs> this doesn't add up. There's holes in his story already. Well, you're good. Are you an airman or a, or a land man? Yeah, you sound like a land man. Pick a side. Pick a side. Pick a side. He just has Pick to. Pick a side. He just always has to hover a couple of feet above the ground. You're one of three. You're an airman. You're a landman or a seaman. You're one of three. We all start as one, mate. <laughs> <laughs> twinkle, twinkle. Uh, he said he fired a warning shot with his revolver before shooting and wounding the creature. Well, it doesn't sound like the much of a warning shot. Yeah, bang you bang! Fire one of the airmen straight away. You shoot it. No, I, I fired. I fired a warning shot into yeah. its shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> According to newspaper reports at the time, Orr drew a sketch of the creature and presented some blood and scales that were on the hood of his vehicle as evidence. But the sketch looks suspiciously like uh, one that was being sold on T-shirts in town, and the scales appeared to have come from a fish. <laughs> That's all from the. You didn't think they'd figure CTP. that out? Yeah, I know, it's funny. Like, I'll just get some fish scales and they won't be able to figure out what it is. And someone goes, well, that's a fish scale. And you're like, whoa. You're good. How did they know? Are you a fish? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a seaman. Oh, he's quick. He is quick. He is quick. <laughs> yes. Or eventually admitted to the hoax saying, I made the report just to keep the legend of the lizard man alive. He was reportedly charged with a misdemeanor count of filing a false report. I'm not sure if anything came of that charge. I hope the whole book was thrown at him, though. Oh, I agree. Because don't. I want it to see him do time. You yeah. will never fly again. Because what happened man. to that fish? Yeah. What did you do to that innocent fish to get some of its scales, you sick fuck? Well, I think he was friends with the fish and the fish. Oh, gave... and he just scaled the... it. The fish was in cahoots. An inside fish. <laughs> <laughs> it's an inside fish. Yeah. <laughs> Do not take that fish outside. Uh, so yeah, I, I don't like. He he diluted the the whole legend of the lizard man with this nonsense. Just wanted to keep the lizard man alive. I know. I look. It was a noble no, idea. But like, I mean, mate, just donate to the statue fund. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Or go yeah. out and actually go find the actual lizard man. Just talk about it. Tell yeah. the story. Tell, Tell the story. his story. Let 
Him, or him. hers. Thank you. L- women can be lizard men. I think he should. He should just be. He should be the vessel. Let his. Let the art wash through you. Uh, Mr. Airman Kenneth Orr. Lizard man fever didn't last too long and started fizzling out by the following year. So it really was quite short lived. Wow. Uh, though reports do still happen sporadically. In 2008, CNN reported that Bob and Dixie Rawson's minivan was badly damaged and they blamed the lizard man. The lizard man. Oh. Dave, have a go. Lizard man. Yeah, it's good stuff, Dave. Yeah, that is. That's fun to say. It is. And I can see why Kenneth. Would want to keep the legend alive. Mm. Kenneth or Airman. Yeah, Kenneth or Airman. I'm not sure which one yet. <laughs> Maybe you'll come back later and confirm. Talking about uh, this report, the then Lee County Sheriff EJ Melvin said, you think it's a joke, but you look at the damage done to the vehicle. It's hard to say. <laughs> it's hard to say whether it's a joke. <laughs> yeah. I, th- I would say it's a lizard man. Sure. That's my best guess. I would say a bear. All right. A lizard bear. <gasps> that's wilder. Like, honest, is that's it... more terrifying than a lizard man. Yeah, it's a bear, but with scales. Apart from that, it's a bear. <laughs> right. Oh. I think it's just a bear with psoriasis. Okay. And alopecia. So it doesn't have fur. Where does the fox hair come from then? I tried to wear the fox as a wig. Yeah, he bought a fox wig. <laughs> come on, Matt. Sorry. I'm slipping in this heat. Slipping off my chair. <laughs> <laughs> Whoop. Uh, in 2015, a photo was taken. And it was featured in media reports across the globe. <gasps> was this the best evidence since the fish scales? Yeah. Which weren't evidence of the fish a lizard man. <laughs> they were evidence of a fish. Yeah. Is there a fish man? Ah! There's definitely a fish in there. If the I wanted area. to cover up a fish man, I would report sightings of a lizard man, then use the fish man scales as evidence of a lizard man. Get people off the scent? Yeah. Oh. A fish? God, can't smells get that a bit out of fishy, you. I tell you that much. Mm. Whatever's going on. Nobody's here. ever said smells a bit lizardy, have they? So this photo was taken in 2015. Uh, and this is a part of the report from the UK's Daily Mail, a very good source for investigative journalists like myself. Yes. Sarah Berra says she was at church with a friend when she stepped outside and caught a glimpse of the fabled creature running along the tree line. The woman grabbed her cell phone and snapped a picture of the apparition. The resulting image depicts a comically muscular, upright humanoid with three clawed toes on each foot and clawed fingers. The monster has red eyes, a long kangaroo-like tail, and a snub-nosed face. And this is what, what you can Sarah... see the three fingers in it. Yeah. Wow. This is what Sarah Sarah Berra Sarah Berra fun name. This is what she <laughs> she uh, wrote in in an email to ABC News Four. Uh, at the time, my hand to God, I am not making this up. So excited. What, she wrote that? Yeah. I love her. Okay. Now I'm going to show you two the photo. <gasps> so excited. Oh, so it's obviously pretty good quality then. Yeah, it's 2015, baby. And you can see the three things as you were saying. There's yeah, no, that's what I'm surprised. Cause it's always from such a distance. Yeah. We might share it on somewhere so people can say, oh, you can Google it. Anyway, the Sarah Beryl is a band photo. Here you go. <laughs> It looks like something from the Power Rangers. She genuinely <laughs> managed to scroll down to reveal that the next line in his report is, it looks like a Power Rangers baddie to me. <laughs> That's 100% just someone in a costume. That is 100% a Power Ranger. Yeah. That's a costume. It's so clearly not a real Sarah. That is 100% <laughs> about to get kicked in the face by Billy the Blue Ranger. <laughs> Sarah. Sarah, That's... you are not. Oh, my God. Seriously. Hand to Hand God. Hand to God. So excited. <laughs> I saw someone in a costume. <laughs> Look, I, I'm Hand not to a, God. I'm not shitting you. I'm not doubting her. I think that she thinks she 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 did see that. But I think that. Oh, I agree honestly, that she saw that. Yes. That, but I don't think she's in on it. I think that's just someone in a costume, and she's just gone. Oh my God, that is real. Because if she were, if she was in on it. You wouldn't have taken a, that clearer of a photo and of it. And it's also... You would have made it further away, it's a so, bit blurrier. It's walking like that photo of Leonardo DiCaprio. Remember when he's, like, walking all happy? You know that one? <laughs> and it's, it's also walking and flexing its muscles at the same time. It's a big unit. Huge. And at some point, she would have shown her friends that photo first, be like, look at the photo I got. I'm going to send it to the news. And none of her stupid fucking friends said... 
Sarah, that's someone in a costume. They were all like, oh, my God, babe, are you? No, seriously. Oh, my God, babe. Seriously, you... if you're lying, you have to tell me. Hand to God. Oh, my God. Babe, you have to send that to the, day, to the Daily Mail. They will print this. But also, I mean, the town, a lot of the people in the town love it, right? They love the they love Lizard Man fever. A lot of them are making money out of T-shirts. And also part of me. Well, maybe not a lot of them are making money out of T-shirts. Someone probably is. Being sceptical. If you were in on it, you would make a better costume. You'd make a better costume and, you'd yeah, you'd take a worse photo. Right? From further away, less clear. Bit of grain. Clear enough, though, that it's not just like a bit of tree. Yeah. <laughs> Well, there were other ones say that around that time. She also got another one of it wearing board shorts, <laughs> and it's holding a pina colada in a in a banana lounge. And she got another one of it uh, blowing out birthday candles. And what's the deal? Come on, Sarah. So she's walked out of church. Is there anyone else that's seen it that can corroborate th- that they s- at least saw it? Well, she was there with a friend, apparently. So I think there was, but this the person doesn't mentioned. have friends. <laughs> Clearly. Otherwise, like Jess said, they would have given her the advice to. That is not good. Or her friends are as dumb as her, Mm -hmm. which probably makes sense because dummies attract dummies. Am I right, fellow dummies? (laughs) Yes, you are right, dummy. Oh, no. (laughs) Uh, You think I'm an idiot. That's a reflection on you. This this picture went was shown around the world again. Obviously, a lot of that was in, you know, the jokey segments on news and stuff, but it was... That would be something you would do at work, Dave. Yeah, this feels like a Friday funny if I've ever heard Ugh. one. Yeah, that's right. The king of whim. <laughs> <laughs> king of whim. Z. <laughs> and I'm trying to get a, 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 my title at work and it's just not, not coming up. This is what I was going for with Leonardo DiCaprio. That's oh, how yeah. it's walking. And oh, like okay, a, right. We'll a post that photo. Of... Can you remember to do a side-by-side post yes. for those two? That's very Screenshot fun. it to remind yourself. Uh, so anyway, this, this every time there's one sighting, it there's a clump of them, right? And that's because the lizard man's in town. So well, that makes that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. That does make sense. It's not just one person seeing it and go out and getting some attention. Other people are going, I want in on this. I want attention. But also, <laughs> I think there'd be, there's that, and also people are going, oh, it's back, so I'm keeping my eyes out more. So I'm seeing that thing in the distance because there was a there was a video with a, a, a sort of a shadow in amongst the trees which um got a bit of attention as well which to me is better because it's like that could be anything yeah, but including this a lizard man is this amazing. couldn't be anything <laughs> this could only be a lizard man and and hard and fast proof so i think i don't, like you guys are making fun of it but i think sarah Berra should ha- also have a statue in the town Right next to the lizard man statue. And in her statue, she got a cell phone out. Yeah. There's a speech bubble that says, so excited. Hand to God. <laughs> Is that a phrase, hand to God? Yeah, David Letterman used to say it a lot. Hand to God. Hand to God. That might not be true. Many, <laughs> many more. His, my favorite saying of his is, I don't even have a dog in this fight. So, <laughs> I like that. It's like, what? I mean. Why, why are you at a, a dog fight? Many more reports uh, started coming out again. Uh, that same week that Sarah Barrow's photo came out, a man named Jim Wilson said he saw a tall figure with a long, scaly tail. He spoke to Fox News in Carolina saying, it was almost like an alligator with a short nose and long legs. My friend told me it's probably a pet monitor lizard, but my girlfriend thinks it's lizard man. Okay, well, it- who are you going to gonna listen to, your friend or your girlfriend? Yeah. Are you a whipped bitch? Are you going to listen to whatever your girlfriend says? Hey, maybe we'll... Don't dog the boys. And was it upright? <laughs> was it upright? Was yeah. It, yeah, I, monitor lizard are walking on its legs. It's that long <laughs> Just legs. Just go for a fucking stroll. <laughs> this all makes sense. Don't worry. It was wearing a jacket and a hat. Yeah, it was nothing That's weird. It classic, had a nappy on. Classic monitor lizard. But I, also, I love how he's the only one who saw it and then two people have strong opinions on what it was. Yeah. Uh, I think it's a monitor lizard. No, that's the lizard oh, it's man. It's clearly the lizard man. Oh, um, oh, um, oh. Um, <laughs> I reckon it's a lizard man again. I reckon. It Probably was... trying to look like a monitor lizard. Oh, shit. Yeah, you didn't think of that, that, did you? No, I didn't. Yeah, well, prepare to get fucked <laughs> in the head Oh. by a lizard Aww. man because he's coming for you. No. Sorry. Don't. I can't. Don't. <laughs> be, you be on watch. <laughs> if you go around 
the swamp. Just where's keep our nearest your wits swamp? about you and your whims about you. Where's our nearest swamp? Do we do swamps? We probably just call them something else. Are swamps and creeks the same thing? Yeah, we have we do have swamp land here. We do have swamp land here. What? Do we have lizard mans here? Well, I feel like a hand man. in hand. Oh my That's god. True. In Bishopville, the South Carolina Cotton Museum maintains a lizard man exhibit. The CTP, my cool name for the page, <laughs> contacted. I mean, it's hardly a shortening if you have to keep explaining <laughs> yeah, what you're saying. You say it every time. We get it. Anyway, the CTP. What's that? What was what's CTP? Is that some sort of government organisation, or is that a computer? That's like a... CPU. That's the Charleston Town paper. Oh, why don't you just say that then? That's my cool name for it. Ah. Oh. I call it the Charlie. I call it the oh, town that's... paper. Gonna go with Charlie. <laughs> mm. uh, the Charlie contacted the museum's then director, Jason Cox, at the time of the 2015 sightings, and they quoted him as saying, There's always interest anytime they show anything about the lizard man. People call, people want the t shirts, and all of that. So we're happy to supply your fantasy. Oh, burn. And then. Uh, so the CTP, the Charlie, they question him on that. They say, "What fantasy? What do you mean fantasy?" And he said, "Well, you have to come here and find out for yourself." Oh, he's a businessman. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, come here and find out. Pay the sixteen dollars admission fee. <laughs> no refunds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he is good. He said, "What you have to understand is, even back to the dinosaur age, there was a lizard-looking creature that stood on its hind legs, like the lizard man is described." The Native Americans. Is that called a Tyrannosaurus Rex or? No, I, I'm going to talk about this, uh, this dinosaur shortly, but it's not the Tyrannosaurus Rex. It's a newer uh, discovered dinosaur. Uh, the Native Americans talked about men with tails that came to live with them. So the stories have been going on for centuries. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? He said. He is a great marketer. Yeah. He's saying, I've watched videos of him. I really I like him so much. I want to go meet him. If we get. Anywhere near this area, we've got to go. No, I'm not going near a swamp. Or a lizard. <laughs> yeah, no. Nah. You can. Yeah, no. I, I'll, I'll stay in the I'll do a little detail. hotel, motel, holiday inn. <laughs> I don't think that's what. I think that's three different things. What do you mean? Okay, well, the three of us can stay at different accommodations. Shotgun hotel. Sucked in, dickhead. Shotgun holiday inn. Shotgun motel. Yeah. Love it. Love anywhere with a bed. Yeah, nah, I want room service and a robe. Like a walk-in robe or like a dressing gown? Both. Okay. And a tub. <laughs> <laughs> so I, so um, I watched this video uh, where uh, Cox was interviewed for this sort of quirky news story by uh, uh, WIS TV. And in it, he he mentions uh, that the legend actually predates 1988 and that it's likely that Christopher Davis grew up hearing about it, that some sort of lizard man type creature was in the area, saying something like, so in the middle of the night, something comes at you uh, in the dark. What are you going to think? Ah, lizard man. So he's sort of saying that he's grown up with the story, so maybe that's why Christopher Davis sort of filled in a lot of blanks. Maybe, I guess he's saying as a bear and he's changed the bear in his mind. From, you know, a big black furry bear to a scaly green, wet like lizard man <laughs> with glowing red eyes. <laughs> He's wet done light. a fair bit of work, to be honest, yeah. Davis, there. Uh, Cox also talked about the fossils that the dinosaurs we were talking about before uh, that were recently discovered of a crocodilian ancestor dubbed the Carolina Butcher, which is a great name, uh, which fits a similar description to the lizard man. The Smithsonian uh, website describes it. Uh, as a bizarre nine-foot reptilian killer beast that stalked through the tropical mud on two hind legs and its powerful jaws could crunch through small mammals and armoured reptiles alike. Whoa. What? But this is a... This is in... This is a fossilised... Um, so this is millions of years ago. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Cox also spruiked in this video, he also spruiked some of the museum's lizard man merchandise, including T-shirts and butter beans, saying... <laughs> Keep in mind, the lizard man loves butter beans. <laughs> <laughs> what, what evidence is that based on? He likes eating cars, if anything else. Oh, man, I, I replayed this part of the video so much last night. I just played it over and over again. Keep in mind, the lizard man loves butter beans. So what, 
So if you're buying them, is he going to be attracted to you? <laughs> I don't want that. You keep your butter yeah. beans. Well, how are you giving them to him? Well, keep in mind, the lizard man loves butter beans. <laughs> <laughs> There's something about that that you guys aren't enjoying it like I did last night. No, I was I can, crying. I can only imagine. Well, keep in mind, <laughs> the lizard man loves butter beans. I'm getting a T-shirt made of that. Um so that pretty much brings me to the end of the report. But before I do, it wouldn't be a cryptid report without some details of the town's cash-in annual festival. Yes. Bigfoot has multiple. The Mothman has one too. And since 2018, only last year, the Lizard Man is now in on the action as well. So just that happened to celebrate the 30th anniversary? Yes. Uh, on the official website, which is maybe the maybe the poxiest website I've ever seen, uh, it's got a sort of like a profile picture, which is like a cartoon of a dinosaur. <laughs> uh, and it says, the second annual Lizard Man Festival. I want to go to this so much, but I don't think we're going to be there. When is it? It's in April. April 26th to 28th um, at the Button King Museum and surrounding area. April 26th to 28th. And it lists its three main attractions. Uh, these are the three in order. WCW legend and actor Papa Stro Maestro. Does that mean anything to you? Or is it a wrestler? Papa Stro Maestro. Then they have oh. cosplayers with a picture of Aquaman and a cosplay comp- competition with a picture of Catwoman. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't ac- understand. Very relevant. But I think I think there are, like, there's also, you know, that author I was talking about before, Go, and they, there's talks and stuff about mysteries and unexplained yeah. things, but the website does not talk about that at all. Brilliant. It does, does it even mention the Lizard Man? It's, I, no, not really. It just is, um, just, I think it's lizardmanfestival.com. That's great. Yeah, lizardmanfestival.com if you want to check it out. If you're anywhere near near it, you got to go. Oh, wow, that's terrible. Can I see the website? We will be linking to this. Wow. That's I mean, sort of as described. That's it. It's almost like they've gone back in time and made it in 1998. <laughs> yeah, but it it's only started last year, so this <laughs> has to be... I don't mean to be mean. It's kind, It's sort of great in its simplicity. It's also a little it's, bit confusing. And it's really easy to make a website now, <sighs> so that that's bad. Yeah. You, we, we could get a vendor or an, or an artist table, uh, a lizard man artist table, if we want to have a stall there. Fifty bucks for oh, a right. vendor table. We could go there and sell butter beans or something. Oh, keep that... in mind, <laughs> <laughs> the lizard man loves butter beans. Well, the, the comedy... fuck is a butter bean? I'm not sure. Dave, what's a butter bean? Like a little. It's like a white bean. Why do you know everything, Dave? It's a large. Dave, I, really, I like butter beans. Are you I really Google? Are. Where do you see butter beans in Australia? I'm a kidney bean fan. Number one bean. I'm. I make no apologies. Nah, I was about to, but I. I won't. Never. Beautiful I'm trying texture. To go- mm. I'm trying to Google it, but that uh, that wrestler nicknamed Butter Bean keeps coming up. Oh, yeah, he the boxer. In, or he was wrestler? In, sorry, uh, boxer. Yeah. Is was, that what he meant? This, in Australia, this is what they, oh, they come in. They were, t- they were selling little figurines of butter bean. They come in little cans like that ah. in Australia. Oh, so we call them canna. What do we call those? Yeah. They can also be called uh, lima beans. Oh, lima beans I'm more familiar with. Yeah. But I know those I beans. think there's an Italian name for them too. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> la bean. <laughs> that is good. That is. That is good stuff. Uh, and finally, one last fun fact to finish off. I haven't done a fun fact in a while, but you inspired me last week, Bob, with your yeah. Elton John fun fact. Don't bring them back. They're fun. Facts. I don't know if this is, but I I'll think determine. it's a bit of fun. Uh, Lizard Man has his own Twitter. No, that is fun. Oh, my God. Has he got the blue tick? His handle is I've Lizard so Man SC, South Carolina, uh. at Lizard Man SC. And his bio is born in swamp, relocated to Bishopville, South Carolina. <laughs> Shy and misunderstood, love wrestling, NASCAR, and flies. Currently single, but looking. Hashtag lizard man. <laughs> I like a guy who hashtags himself. Me too. Yeah. Well, Shows what confidence. Kind of, yeah. What kind of things is he tweeting? It's sexy. Oh, I, isn't that funny? I did not even go to look at what he was saying. Like, what's he putting out? Like, looking for a car to fuck up. Like, honestly, if you're looking for lizard man, he's fucking tweeting. Yeah. I know. Honestly, just track down that IP. 
Oh, Easy. He's used. He's using Sarah Bearer's photo as his profile picture. Oh. Uh, the last he hasn't tweeted for a couple of months. Uh, last thing he tweeted was Happy Thanksgiving. I am thankful for a swamp to call my home. The chatter of squirrels, birds in the blue skies, and the beautiful fall leaves that create oh, noise to yada, warn me. Yada yada. <laughs> oh, I, how many ca- followers has he got? Fuck me. Yeah, if he's less. got more followers than me, I'm going to be mad. How many followers has he got? Uh, he has. 568 followers. No, I th- I honestly, if you've got Twitter out there, you're a Dugo one listener. If this week we could all tweet him, what yeah. we should send him good a uh, goodwill. Yeah. What, what should we what should we get people to write to him? Because it'd be funny for him to suddenly get, you know, a couple of dozen tweets from all around the world. A couple of dozen. Let's get a couple of million. Let's right. really wanna... swamp him <laughs> with tweets. And love. And love. Thank you. Mm. Yeah. Love swamp. Baby what a, love. Yeah. Swamp. Maybe some sort of love related yeah. tweet. A love tip. Yeah. yeah. So he can find love. Okay, that'd be good. Single, but currently looking. And we should use the hashtag love swamp. And then hashtag lizard man. Hashtag love swamp, hashtag lizard man. And he's, he's handle one more time just to get out of there. Uh, at lizard man SC. And we will be tweeting him. Yeah. <sighs> That's great. A beautiful man. That's a good fun fact. It'd be great if we could get his followers up a bit too. We could all follow the lizard man. Yeah, let's follow the lizard man. Let's get him up over a thousand. Come on, people. Come on. Pitch in. He's a lizard man. He deserves a thousand followers. Give him a bit of respect. He's a fucking lizard tweeting. That's amazing. And if you could offer him any like uh, butter beans you want to offer him? Yeah, That'd send nice. him butter beans or love or both. Because. Keep in mind. <laughs> Keep in mind. I don't know why I love that so much. It looks Keep like in mind. <laughs> was, were you thinking cannellini beans, Matt? Cannellini. cannellini. So they go under that name as well. A bean. Mm. Molto bene. Va bene. Molto bene. Oh. That means many beans. <laughs> Very bean. Very bean. <laughs> Could he be any, any more bean? bean? Yes. Matt, that is an interesting and wonderful report. That was fun. Well, it was from my heart to yours, and I just thought it was about time someone said it. It was an important report to get out there. Yeah. People needed to know. And uh, That probably was a lot of fun to research too. It was. Yeah. That was a lot of fun, especially after my last report being about Waco. It was nice to have a bit of a... Yeah, something light. Just a bit silly. silly Nobody's dead in this one, you know? Yes. He hasn't killed anybody, so that's nice. Yes, as far as I know, he hasn't killed anyone. Very but good. he's he's so he does have a big set against Toyota Celicas. Yeah, he, but he's looking for love. We all have things we hate. Yeah, but we all love love. Maybe that's what he's. Maybe he was like oh. there scratching at the door, going, "Love me." <laughs> I guy, just want a friend. And the guy's driving around trying to throw him <laughs> off the roof. Get away, you crazy bastard. Let me in. I just want to love something. Let me into your car and your heart. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Mm. The lizard's Dave Callan. <laughs> yeah. Hello there. Hello. Hello there. I'm the lizard man. <laughs> uh, that brings us to the end of the report, but not the end of the show, Dave. What happens now? No. This is part of the show where we like to pause and give thanks to the people that support us at Patreon. Patreon.com slash do go on pod is where you can do that. And in exchange, every single month you get bonus stuff like two bonus episodes, shout out. We let you know about stuff in advance, including uh, when tickets are on sale. Hopefully some more Aussie shows and tour will be announced soon. So Patreon will be the first people to hear about that. And also a segment that you like to call fact, quote, or question. And that is time... Uh, now for fact, quote, or question. And this week's fact, quote, or question comes from fantastic listener and supporter, Sarah Groom. This is her first time in the fact, quote, or question. Ah, welcome, Sarah. Hello, Sarah. It's like you've been here all along. You fit in so well. And you get to give uh, yourself a title uh, when you're giving a fact, quote, or question. And Sarah's chosen the title of Professional Earthworm Trainer. (laughs) Oh, I see. I think that's one of your nicknames, isn't it, Dave? The uh, Earthworm? Cobra. Earthworm. The Earthworm. That was one of my best calls. Yeah. I wear that proudly. Earthworm Dave. Despite hurting my friend. (laughs) Worth it! (laughs) Uh, and Sarah, I might need some help from you guys. It's sort of directed at me, but I might use your help if that's okay. All right. Sarah's Absolutely question. Not. Yeah. Sarah, Sarah's question is: Matt, the man of a thousand voices, what is your most controversial noise? And alternatively, what is noise number eight hundred and seventy-three? Well, you can answer that part yourself. Well, da- well, no, I think Dave's got the list of 
You've well done. Let me Dave just, catalogs my let me just noises. Just consult this list. Eight hundred and seventy-three. Hang on. That is the sound of a chicken stepping on a rake. Okay. Yeah, that is a good one. Frequently requested. It is frequent. I've never, I haven't done it on pod but before. Not on pod. So people often, come up to you in the street. In the street, I often do it at the supermarket and uh, chicken farms. Um, <laughs> a lot of chickens want to hear that noise. I love it because it's relatable. But um, okay, here it is. <clears throat> I'm sorry. <laughs> right there. Sorry. Sorry. Just I don't know what, what happened then? Are you just clearing your throat, ready for the noise? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Eight seventy three. Whoa. Yeah. I closed my eyes and I, for a moment I forgot you were making the noise and I thought, how the fuck, A, did a rake get in here? Yeah. Uh, and Is secondly, that Dave's girlfriend or? <laughs> secondly, <laughs> this chicken. <laughs> Dave, Matt, Dave's girlfriend is a mop. We've oh. been over this. Have we talked about this on the show before? I think so. Okay. That's we, why I looked at we you like, what yeah, are we talking about? How we're pretty confident your girlfriend isn't real. We think it's yeah. a mop. Some sort of, yeah, something, a stick with a, a, mop, a mop probably makes sense because I've seen her from behind and she does hair. have hair. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. seen her through a window. That's the only way you'll, you've never, never spoken to her. She's not real. Dave's on me at the window, like I'll come <laughs> around and pick him up and and I'm like, I'll oh, come in. You're like, no, no, I've just got to say goodbye to my girlfriend. And then you're in the window. Yeah, it turns around. <laughs> Silhouetted. Yeah, I'm doing that thing, arms around myself. <laughs> Yeah. Arms around my back. With a, yeah, and I'm like, why has he got that mop on his back? <laughs> We've started doing that again in my house, just turning around like, ooh. <laughs> it's very funny every so time. In, it's tough love. We in our house, you mean, because you live alone. You're just doing that when you're four. Me by myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've started doing that again. We also started. Uh, we, me and my limbs. We also started going to the bathroom with the door open. Who cares? Who, who cares? Yeah, no, I, of course I do. I've got two doors in my bathroom, both wide open. Two doors? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I forgot that you were staying at the Ritz. <laughs> Bloody hell. The other part of that question was what's the most, most controversial? controversial. Same, same noise. Yeah, is it? Yeah, I right. Would, absolutely. Yeah, I would agree. Well, honestly, because Peter get annoyed because they think you're actually hurting a chicken because oh, it's so yeah. accurate. Yeah, yeah. They think you're torturing We've a chicken. We've had so many complaint tweets from them. We, and say, we guys, have to, Yeah, we have to keep saying, I'm so sorry, but he is a master impressionist. It's just a sound effect. We have no, no chickens from harm to the making of that noise. Yeah. It is strange as well because... They're assuming that, like, the chicken is being made to step on the rake. It likes it. That, I mean, if you listen close to the sound, that chicken's doing it on purpose. Yeah. It's getting off on it. Yeah. It's getting off on that <laughs> it's rake. He's a horny little chicken. He's a horny chicken. Yeah, he's very Chickens clucky. Chickens get horny. Yeah, oh yeah, big time. Wow. They, uh, they roost and they root. Good for them. <laughs> they love it. All right. They love it. Oh, boy. Uh, thanks so much for that. Question, Sarah <laughs> Thanks, Groom. Sarah. Uh, it was a great opportunity to put that on record. Did you want it one more time? No. Okay, great. I mean, it's on record. Just going to put it I'll on. I'll just repeat. rewind it. If you want it as a phone, uh, a phone ring. Or just whatever. loop it. Loop it. Save your rud style. See you, loopy guy. Sure. <laughs> it's hot. Now it's time for the other part of the end of the show, where we thank you. Our Patreon supporters. If you want to support the show, you can go to dogoonpod.com. You can go to patreon.com slash dogoonpod. I just want to say, when Jess said we want to thank you, if you're not a Patreon supporter, she was not talking to you, okay? Just yeah. I Thank you for clarifying that. Just yeah. to make sure. I would like to say thank you to all our listeners. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's, but that's in a separate section that's of the show. That's where Matt obviously. and I differ. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, you can support the show and one of the – you get lots of different benefits. We do bonus episodes. Uh, you can vote on topics. But one of the things that we like to do at the end of every episode is thank some of our Patreon supporters, and we're going to do that now. Oh, what a fantastic opportunity. Now, what can we give to them this week? More than gratitude. Last week we we named their album cover their albums. Oh, that's right. Because it was Elton John. So I guess maybe it's a maybe we just give it based on their town, their place of residence. Yep. That's the that swamp, and yep. it's the whatever of that place yep. swamp. Agreed. Okay. Yep. So first up, I'd love to thank from Monroe in Ooh. New York, Gino Fratto. Ah, oh, fantastic Gino name, Gino Fratto. I like that a lot. Gino Fratto. From Monroe. The swan 
Can I just jump in here? Please. Can I just say, Gino Fratto, the flamingo of Monroe Swamp. The flamingo. So it's just a, a bird. Gino's a bird. Flamingo man. Okay. Whoa, flamingo man. that's different. Yeah, I wanted to keep the... It's tall and pink. Flamingo. <laughs> so it's a man. Flamingo man. Leaving and, he, and he leaves fish scales everywhere he goes. It's very yeah, strange. It's weird. Gino, really weird. you are a character. And you know what? Munro is lucky to have you. Yep. Gino Frateau. Uh, I'd also love to thank from South Shields, Tyne and Ware in Great Britain. No doubt I've said that wrong because it's in Great Britain and they pronounce stuff funny there. It's Jamie Collins. Jamie Collins. Hi, Jamie. South Shield Swamp Thanks, Jamie. sounds cool. Um, yeah. South Shield Swamp. It doesn't There's have something... to be a swamp, I guess. No, it does. Okay. Small <laughs> swamps are where these things congregate. Okay, right. Well, I'm thinking the uh, the uh, Bucket Hat Man. Or South Shield Swamp. I yeah. love it. That is honestly terrifying. Yeah. Mm. What's under there? <gasps> yeah. Yo. Oh, no, it's bald. Ter- <laughs> Put it back on. <laughs> Are you scared of bald people? Yeah. Why? I had a weird experience once. Oh, okay. But it's With Billy Corgan. That. That's, yeah. that's strange. Thank you. Thanks very much Sorry. to Jamie. Keep, that's the third time to I've touched Dave's toes with my toes. Yuck. <laughs> I did not even notice the first two, which is very disturbing. Dave, would you like to thank some people to take your mind off I'd it? love to take my mind off it by thanking <laughs> all the way from... Kearney in Nebraska, Jordan Reese. Ah, uh, Reese. The Reese's Pieces of Monster. Of Kearney Swamp. Yeah, it's Reese's Pieces. The Reese's Pieces Monster from Kearney Swamp. Jordan Reese, that sounds delicious yet terrifying. Yeah, well, it's supposed to sound all cute because people are like, oh, it just eats little chocolate treats. But what it actually means is it eats pieces of people named Reese. Oh, oh dear. Yeah. Jordan Reese is on the list. <laughs> yep. Sorry, so, Jordan. You'd probably want to move. Reese's Pieces is a chocolate. Yeah. Sounds terrifying. A little chocolate peanut buttery treat. Oh. Delicious. They are really, really nice. Yep. I would like to thank also from the United States of America, from Chicago, Illinois, Ryan Kasani or Ryan Kachani. Not so sure, sure about this, Ryan, but uh, Ryan Kasani, I think I'm going to go with from Chicago, Illinois. And Ryan is, of course, the Dormouse of Chicago Swamp. Oh, the Dormouse. They even have doors in swamps. Yeah. What is a Dormouse? Just a little mouse. Oh, like a doorman at a hotel. Yep. I reckon they would call it the Dormouse because this thing appears inside places and you think, how do they get in? They must have got through a small crack like a dormouse. Oh. But then they're seven foot tall. How oh. They, how, do they, how do they get in? So Magic. Very easy to get in and out of places. The dormouse of Chicago Swamp. Wow. Mo- is a dormouse a real thing? That's become terrifying now. Yeah, dormouse is a thing. Maybe yeah, people just wow. prefer dormouse as a dormouse. Holy moly. Mm. And I started to put everyone into nightmare mode. <laughs> thank you, though, Ryan. And I would like to thank from Ford in this great country's capital territory, oh. Canberra. Oh, this country's. This country's. I would like to thank Edward Bassanelli. Oh, fantastic name. Long-time supporter. Hello, Edward. Hi, Edward. And Edward would be... The purple wiggle of Ford <laughs> Swamp. <laughs> oh, he's always falling asleep. And wiggling. I love it. Where did you get that from? I don't know. Okay. Just, I just went deep into my psyche. Did you black out for a sec? I blacked out for quite a Do few reckon he sex. forces people to sleep? Nah, Matt said sex. Yes. <laughs> thank you, Edward. Thank you, Edward. The and I wiggle. Also, like to thank also from the ACT. Oh, coincidence. Mm. Yes, Isabel Klein. <gasps> Isabel. Isabel. Who is, of course, the the wretched stilt walker. Whoa! Whoa! Where did that of, come from? Of Ainsley Swamp. Oh, Dave, you are really digging deep in these. I love it. I tried for one and you cut me off and said, nope. Oh, I'm so sorry. You no, you're lo- not. You look like you needed I- my help. Well. And I came through with the wretched stilt walker. I think we should come up with one last one, and that is the uh, wretched cutting off monster from that spot over there, Swamp. Yeah. 
He was inside me all along. Ew. Oh. oh not like that. Well, I mean, that's oh, how okay. he sounded, oh, mate. Yeah. yeah. Sound a bit no like judgment, that. but gross. So thank you to Isabel Klein and <laughs> no, everyone. No judgment, but gross. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for everyone who has supported us on the Patreon. Uh, if you want to check us out online, uh, you can follow us on the social medias at Do Go On Pod, and that is across Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Also, Do Go On Pod at Gmail if you want to email. And we've got a YouTube channel with videos, some of them with moving pictures. Ooh, uh, which like is, the pictures come to life. Yeah, youtube.com slash Do Go On Pod. And also our website where you sort of got links to most of those things is dogoonpod.com. Anything else there, Davey boy? Oh, you can check out our other podcasts, Primates with Matt and Book Cheat with me. We both get a bunch of guests from in and around Planet Broadcasting, including each other. So that's a lot of fun. It's a bit cute. Yeah. It's real good fun. They're we good fun shows. A bit cute. And there's Patreon rewards to go with those as well because we're all part of the one little podcast network within a podcast yeah, network. Yeah, it's very meta. Mm, is it? Mm, babushka meta. Ooh. <laughs> but that does bring us to the end of a very hot and sweaty report. I'll be back next week with uh, a report that I hope that we will record under much cooler conditions. Yes. But until yes. then, we'll say thanks for listening and goodbye. Later. Bye. This podcast is part of the Planet Broadcasting Network. Visit planetbroadcasting.com for more podcasts from our great mates. I mean, if you want. It's up to you. 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 It's up to you.